Hello and welcome to my recording. In this video, I'm going to go over adding a new movement code to miscellaneous table 14 that is found in development miscellaneous tables data. Then, once the new code is added to the table, I'm going to assign it to a stock miscellaneous receipt and show you how a product can be received with no cost even if the cost is required. First, I'm going to navigate to Development, Data and Parameters, Miscellaneous Tables, Data. Look for Table 14, which is Stock Movement Code. Add a new code. I'm going to call it Null. Null STD. Cost. Save. And exit. Then I'm going to log off the software, come back to it for the new code to take an effect. Next, I'm going to navigate to common data products, products, select a product that I know it doesn't have a standard cost record, go to the product site, click the cost tab, then drill to the valuation method. Once that is done, the primary method here is the standard cost, so I'm going to drill to that. Then here it is allowing null cost so I'm going to uncheck this box then in the receipt valuation exceptions I'm going to select the movement type miscellaneous receipt I'm going to assign the code I just created the valuation source is standard cost and I'm going to leave the alternate as standard cost as well cost adjustment is yes and then allow null, I'm going to say yes. That means if the record does not have a standard cost, it is OK for the cost to be zero. I'm going to click OK, save the changes, and exit out of here. Now that the movement could has been assigned to the valuation method. The next thing I'm going to do is to navigate to setup, stock, entry transactions, select miscellaneous receipts, and normally uh, we'll need to create a new miscellaneous receipt. So I'm going to copy the all and change it to null. No STD cost, I'm going to call it. And here, I'm going in the movement code field, I'm going to look for my movement code, select it, make sure it's active, the entry transaction is active, and save it. Say yes, because I'm copying it from the all entry transaction. Now, after the movement code has been created, it's been assigned to the valuation method and to the miscellaneous entry transaction, the final step here is to create a miscellaneous receipt with this new code. However, before I do that, I'm going to show you the different behaviors between selecting entry transaction all and the selecting the entry transaction I just created. So I'm going to navigate to stock, receipt, issue transactions, select miscellaneous receipt. Here, first, I'm going to select all miscellaneous stock entry transaction. I'm going to click new for site NA012. I'm going to enter my product, FIN0009. 
quantity ordered is 5, status is A. I'm going to tab all the way, leave the price null, and try to create. Notice the message fin valuation price null not authorized because I checked, I unchecked the box to allow null cost. I'm going to click OK to this message, exit out, cancel this entry. Then I'm going to select new again. Actually, I have to exit out of here completely. Go back to stock receipt issue transaction, miscellaneous receipts. Now I'm going to select the null, no STD cost. Click new for site NA012, product FIN0009. I'm going to order five. I'm going to tap all the way to the price, leave it null, and I'm going to save. Notice how the system allowed the creation of this entry transaction or of this transaction be, with the cost being zero due to the movement code that we assigned to this entry transaction.